Welcome parishioners, visitors, and guests to Our Lady of Lourdes Parish Family on this Wednesday of Holy Week. As we get closer to the most holy days of the liturgical year, we continue to journey with Jesus. In worship, we are all invited to sing, From the Depths We Cry to Thee. From the depths we cry to thee, God of sovereign majesty, hear our prayers and hymns of praise, bless our land of forty days. Gracious God, our hearts renew, strengthen us thy will to do, wash us, make us pure within. Cleanse us from the stain of sin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. As we come together to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. Let us call to mind all our shortcomings and our failures. Our call is to love God and to love one another. But sometimes in our life we fall short. God is merciful. Let us rely upon his mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord has given me a well-trained tongue, that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Be to God. Our response will be, Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, 
In your great love, answer me. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I look for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See the lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priest and said, what are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him 30 pieces of silver, and from that time on, he, hooked, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleaved Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, go into the city to a certain man and tell him, the teacher says, my appointed time draws near. In your house, I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him, one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me, is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Last Monday, the news came out that Prime Minister Boris Johnson of the United Kingdom was admitted to an ICU in a hospital in London. Very sad, of course, for his family, the government, and the whole United Kingdom. Also, Prince Charles was infected with the coronavirus. These, admit, these infections, they tell us that people in power are as, vul as vulnerable as everyone else. 
It does not matter who you are, whether you are rich or poor, black or white, in a position of power or a factory worker. Everyone is vulnerable. Today's readings tell us also how relative earthly power is. The reading from Isaiah tells us about a suffering servant. Isaiah says, I give my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard, my face I did not shield, from buffets and spitting. It is clear, the power of this servant is not laid in earthly things, but in God. Even though Isaiah lived 700 years before Christ, our thoughts go out to Jesus when Isaiah talks about the suffering servant. In the Gospel we hear how Judas is interested in earthly power. He wants, to be, he wants to be friends with the establishment of the religious authorities and making money for himself by betraying Jesus. It is clear, his focus is not God and his kingdom, but only short-term benefits. The readings bring up the question, what are we interested in? What is our focus and what is our purpose? Is it God and his kingdom? Or is it earthly benefits and short-term possessions? Let us think about that in a moment of silence. We open our hearts and pray to the Lord. We pray for Pope Francis and all the bishops that they lead us in faith and in love, that they lead us on the way of the gospel, the way that Jesus taught us. Let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> We pray for all those who lead us in this world, especially in these days of crisis. Give them wisdom that they make good decisions, that they lead their people on the right path. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those admitted to hospitals in this country and all over the world. People who suffer and people who fight for their lives, especially for those in ICU rooms. We pray for strength and health. Be with them, Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray in this time of crisis for all our leaders in the society. We pray for doctors, nurses, and healthcare workers that they 
got the energy and the strength to do their good work and to continue that work. We pray for all of them. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for our faith community in this holy week that we experience our faith even though it is different and maybe difficult in these days that we join Jesus on his path of suffering death to resurrection let us pray to the Lord We pray for our parish community as we not come together here in church. We pray that we are connected in prayer and that we are connected in love, that we care for one another by reaching out to one another by telephone or email, that we carry each other in faith and in love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our we pray for all the deceased, especially the deceased members of our parish family and our own families. And today's intention is for Jan van Sistine. We pray for her and all those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, our God, we come to you with all these prayers and we ask you to hear us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here, and graciously grant that celebrating your Son's passion in mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished. 
and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. Make our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one choir of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially Jan van Sistine, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Bernadette and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Endow us, Almighty God, with the firm conviction that through your Son's death in time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.